Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's Keith Suchuk once again, and I'm very, very honored and pleasure to be sitting here tonight with uh, Baldy out in Turner Lake. I thought I'd come pay him a visit and do a little jam and talk a little bit about his musical history. And um, uh, I did mention to him that I've been documenting musicians around the north, and a lot of times the Turner Lake band was mentioned, and uh, now I'm sitting here tonight with Gordon and uh, Baldy from Native Vision in Turner Lake and maybe we can talk a little bit about the history of Baldy. I'll, I'll, I'll interview you first this evening and then I'll interview Gordon a little bit later so but I just wanted to acknowledge that you guys are here together with me this evening. Thank you very much. So Baldy with that being said if you could just maybe touch upon how you started music what got you into music and maybe how old you were. Well I got into music when I was young, in my teenage, teenage days, um, I was listening to bands play like Northern Fire. I used to always play here, and I wanted to play. I wanted to play, I wanted to do that too. So that's when I started playing guitar in school, taking lessons, playing guitar and singing. But I used to be shy, I just sing by myself. Nobody ever heard me sing, just learning myself. Then we started talking about getting a band with my bro, my cousin here. And, uh, my Your uncle, brother was who? Bushman, Nuno. Your Alfred, brother was Alfred, Alfred. the late Alfred Nuno. Alfred, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, and that's when we started our Native Vision band. Started playing around. And what year do you think that was? What year do you think that was? That was in 1990 when we started our first band. Wow. Yeah. Just a little band. Just funny, bro. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's just It's a good old music. So, yeah, we played in a lot of gigs. Play, but we don't play now. Just at home here. Eh, so, you're semi retired right now yeah. and just having yeah. fun playing music at home yeah. with your guitar. And I stay that? home lots. How old are you now? I'm 54. You're 54 years old. But I turned around, eh? I'm young. <laughs> <laughs> I'm younger. You're 45. I'm 45 yes. sometimes. I just turned but 43. not every day. I just yeah. turned 43 the other day and um, I tried that trick and said I was 34. It didn't work. <laughs> it doesn't work for long. Start feeling your real age, eh? <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, yeah. but. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm just uh, trying to help you. Uh, Reminisce about yeah. the good old days of playing music, and yeah. maybe if you could talk about some of the gigs or some of the time places you might have played, yeah, maybe yeah, some of the musicians that. you might have met. I met a lot of guys through music, eh? Playing like you guys, Keith, your bro there. A lot of other guys played a lot. Damn, a lot of guys, eh? It's fun. It's fun playing music. Playing to it. I sing on karaoke here by myself now. You know. <laughs> yeah. And go on the road no more. It's getting a little too old. <laughs> well, we're never too old when it comes to music. You know, deep down yeah. inside, we we truly love music, and that's why we continue yeah. to play. Oh, yeah. Even if we're not in a band, we got a guitar yeah. and we're, we're jamming and we're playing, right? I always so, play. As long as you can play, you'll play it, eh? That's right. Yeah, because music helps you. So, when you were younger and uh, looking around back in the early days, Maybe you could mention some of the bands, like when you were a young teenager, maybe. What were some of the bands yeah, that were I've playing? I've never those? played with anybody. I know, but I mean, like, what, what were some of the bands that you might have listened to or seen playing when you Freddie were younger? Freddie Moore and them. Always Freddie Moore and them. You know, they were the top, eh? Oh, band, good back in band. those days, they were... Oh, well, Freddie Moore and, yeah. And uh, Flame Busters. Okay. There was other cross bands, too, but I don't remember their, their names. You remember all DC and bands. the Country Boys yeah. and all? Just the Boys? NBC, I think they won. Young Blood? Yeah, all those guys. There was a lot of... Uh, we used to play with them in Buffalo Jamboree. Yeah. Guys. You guys do. That's right. Yeah. You guys played in Buffalo Jamboree yeah. back in the 90s. And, yeah, uh, yeah those are good shows there. A lot of bands. It's fun there. When, uh, what year was it when uh, you lost your brother? Mm -hmm. uh, I always remember him. He was a bass player. 2007. Yeah, he played bass. He played, he played everything. He played drums, guitar, bass, sings. And he was a big influence for you. Yeah, yeah. He 
Oh, well, yes, yeah. I guess. What, 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 what do you think got him into music? Probably the same thing I think other people play, want to play it the way. Nice. And he always wanted to get better and better, you know. You mentioned... I uh, got my hands there, eh, but I couldn't get my chords. <laughs> <laughs> I even went to a, you're not my brother, he told me one time. You <laughs> 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 got so bad, eh, I couldn't get it right away. <laughs> So I had to learn fast. I know what it's like playing with a brother. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> so I'll leave it at that. <laughs> so, yes, that's really nice of you to, to look back and to, and, and to acknowledge your brother and how much he contributed to, uh, to, to getting you started. And uh, maybe you can acknowledge, is there any other musicians in Turner Lake that... Uh, you might want to acknowledge or mention during this interview that... Yeah, there's Elvis Petit, Joey, Conrad. There's a lot of young boys too that play guitar, right? Eh? Yeah. And pick the guitar pretty good, a lot of young boys around here. It's good to see that. That's, that's, yeah. that's really nice. Yeah. But they don't have much singers though. They just, they just learn to play the guitar, eh? Yeah, learn to sing along too. So what yeah. what got you into singing, and how did you start singing? Now that you yeah, mentioned just that, from, uh, listening to people sing, I wanted to sing too. It sounded good for me, so you know, I want to do that too. I want to sing too. Eh? So I started learning chords and I sing. <laughs> and I sing. Yeah. So I sing by myself a lot of times. So I started playing in a band. That's when that really came. And yeah, I wasn't shy anymore too once I hit that stage. But before I got on stage, I was really, really nervous. You know what? We all get those butterflies, yeah. you know. Even once you start playing, playing, it's just gone, eh? That, that <coughs> Excuse is me. gone, then you just, you see the crowd having fun and just play harder, right? Yeah, it really gets yeah, you into it, it once you, you see that it, crowd yeah. enjoying the music. That because too, yeah. the music is really something that helps, uh, you know, when, when when the musicians see the fans having fun, yeah. we start having more fun by giving sure, them more yeah. effort and more of a drive in that music performance, mm -hmm. right? Sure. Do, you, uh, do you remember any gigs that might stand out to you that you could remember? I know you mentioned the uh, Bovell the or Buffalo Jamboree. Yeah. Those ones were good. I mean, there was a lot of bands there. They all sound good to it. Would you say that would kind of be the highlight of your yeah, year? Highlight, yeah. That, that you can uh, remember that was that stood out. Mm -hmm. Was there any other thing, other gigs that might have stood out that you can remember that uh, you might want to mention? There's or? Still a few. There's quite a bit. We played a lot. There was a lot of them. Did you ever play in the old Animal Hall in Lalash? In Lalash, no. 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 Just the no, Mission I Hall. I never right? played. Then. You played in the Mission Hall, though, didn't you? Yeah, we played in there. I, yeah, I do we remember. Couple, I do remember the mission. I do yeah. remember the mission hall. Yes, yeah. Sure yeah. Did, yeah. yeah, I do yeah. remember you guys coming out one night when me and Carl were playing with our band. I think yeah. you and Bushman and Nunu and a whole bunch of you guys yeah, came uh, one night. That was Nunu, Bushman, and Donald. Maybe, yeah. That, that was, was the Nashville Rebels right there. Is that what they were called? <laughs> yeah. The old Turn Lake yeah, band yeah. before you was who? Yeah. Me, I didn't play. That was Ball. That was Bushman. Your brother? Uncle Bushman and Donald Morris. Oh, yes. What were they called again? And Alice, too, he was a favorite of mine. The Nashville Rebels. Rebels. <laughs> yeah, the Nashville Rebels, yeah. I don't know where they got that name. Do you remember the, uh, the early days when uh, Freddie and Ivan and the boys were playing yeah. around here? Yeah. Can you maybe talk about that a little bit? Yeah, Ivan and Northern Fire. Yeah, yeah, they were good to his Warren Brothers. Because, you know, they the Warren Brothers, uh, Freddie yeah. mentioned that they, he started with his Turner Lake band before he started his Northern Fire band. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he started in Turner Lake. Yeah, my Uncle Steven was a drummer there, eh? Who was? My Uncle Steven. That was the drummer he mentioned that was the best drummer in Northern Saskatchewan. Yeah. And that's what Freddie Moore yeah. said, you know? And that was your uncle? Yeah, they both drummers. So, so, music, so music really was in your family then? Yeah. Like, yeah, my cousin, me, lots of us from my family play. Like Harold and him too. Yeah, Harold yeah. Herman. Yeah. You're related to Harold? They're our cousins, yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. They play two, eh? The sisters. 
Yeah. So it's a small world, eh? Everybody's yeah. related and we all have uh, musical connections. Would you say so? It's like... Yeah. You know, very met our guys who playing music you yeah. Too, eh? yeah, it's true, yes. So, but, you know, this interview is about you, not about me. But I like to share as much as I can yeah. as long as we talk. You know, I know some, someday I'll do my interview. But I'd like to interview people. Well, it's like I'm talking to you. That's, that's right. okay. That's exactly right. That's, we're just talking and I'm just recording. Mm -hmm. So that's fine. Okay. That's okay. Whatever you wanted to share, right? It was just a matter of you reminiscing and looking back and enjoying your yeah. music and talking about some of those memories, right? It was a good time. Traveling. School bus. <laughs> breaking down. <laughs> I didn't late to it. Late for gigs? Yeah. <laughs> because of that school bus. Breaking down on the road. Cold. <laughs> no heat in there. <laughs> yeah. But we were it's talking so we were talking about uh, the early days of Northern Fire and uh, like I said, Freddie and Ivan or Freddie mentioned that he was playing in Turner Lake when before Northern Fire. You must have been young yeah, back then. I was young. Do you remember, yeah, Do you remember any of that? I was know? a little boy sitting on a stage watching them sitting like this. Really? Watching the band play. Eh? Yeah. That's what I mean. That's what I want. Watching so those guys they play. They were an eh? influence on you yeah. a lot because they were from Northern Turner Fire. as well. Yes, yeah. I could see that now. I was playing drums there. Yeah, yeah, so it must have been really influential yeah. to watch your uncle play with Northern Fire. And then you look that way, the dance floor is just full of people who are dancing here. Wow. Having fun. Yeah. yeah. So that's the, that's the kind of stuff that makes you want to play. Yeah. yeah. So that's what got me going. I'm really pleased that you uh, sat down this evening with me and and shared some of that history and some of those stories with us. Mm -hmm. Before we sign off, though, is there anything that stands out or anything that you might remember or anything that you want to say or anything yeah. that... Uh, before remember. I ask you my last question? I don't know. I don't remember anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when you play for so many years throughout the years, it's kind of so hard many, sometimes. Yeah, you so know, many you things, can't yes. Remember. You know, and I kind yeah. of uh, put you on the spot because I only yeah. called you up, and and uh, an hour and a half later, yeah. I'm here with and my camera. Just can't remember and... what what the hell am I going to say? <laughs> <laughs> What did that's, I learn? What did, how did I get into this? <laughs> <laughs> but that's all good. You shared quite a bit with us, and I'm very grateful and thank yeah. you. And, and thankful, I mean. So, but before we sign off, I usually like to ask all the musicians that I'm interviewing if they could give some sort of words of wisdom or some sort of message to any young musician that might want to get into music. Maybe somebody wants to learn an instrument or somebody wants to learn how to sing or, or just to get into music overall. Would you be able to give some sort of words of wisdom or advice? Well, anything you get into, you gotta you gotta work at it every day. Practice, practice lots. Sing. If you're gonna be a singer, you gotta practice sing too. And do it every time. Work hard, and you'll you'll get it. And that's all I gotta say. Keep on, keeping on. Keep <laughs> right on. Thank you so much, Baldy. I really appreciate this interview. Mercy, Cho. You're welcome.